Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video we are going to talk about the sweetness of life. A lot of us really want to experience the fullness, the sweetness of life. We want to enjoy, we want to feel pleasure, we want to feel easy, we want that life treats us well, that we enjoy it. But oftentimes we feel that we need to achieve something in order to enjoy it or that we need to succeed in some areas or, or of our life otherwise we are not worthy enough of the sweetness but what if i tell you that you can enjoy the fruits of life today right now that is your birthright as long as you are here in the body the sweetness of life is available in order to understand more of that we need to travel back in time we need to understand how our personalities are created so personality what you call the 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 overall the overall of your flaws and your qualities who you are how you react to the world is created based on your early experiences is created based on how you reacted to certain negative or traumatic events from your past so for example if you have a person who didn't feel loved enough didn't feel cuddled enough didn't feel safe enough you have a person who maybe is withdrawn from the world. You have a person who has difficult creating relationships. You have a person who is not, who has uh, difficulties taking risks in life. You have a person who was uh, maybe neglected for some reason. Then they can maybe create their personality to overcompensate and to say, I am important, I'm more important, they will show the world of this importance, so they feel like they need to deserve their importance, they don't feel like I exist and therefore I am enough, which is the basis of worthiness, I am enough as I am, I do not need to change myself, although I can always grow and improve myself, it's natural as it's natural for rivers to flow. So what I want to say is we identify ourselves with our personalities. But let me ask you a question. If you were to heal your past trauma, maybe you would change your personality. Have you ever think about that? If you didn't feel safe enough as a baby and you heal that wound and you start feeling safe, maybe you would take risks. Maybe you would ask out the person who you like. Maybe you would apply for a job. Maybe you would start a business. You would feel safe. And from that safety, you would feel the, the natural need for freedom and for self-expression. And then you can show up in the world as you are with that levels of safety. So what I want to say is the point is not to have strong characters. The point is to be a shapeshifter in your life, to allow the energy to flow throughout your body, in your body, and be in that flow of your energy. And when we are that, we are like surfers, we are like shapeshifters. We show up for life, maybe every moment differently. That is the basis of sweetness of life. We are in the flow, we are flowing. So we are not in this rigid characters. I am only this kind of person and I am annoyed by every other type of person. No, I flow. I am, I exist and therefore I can express myself differently. I can understand that I have many talents and I do not need to limit myself. I understand that life sometimes brings sometimes brings sweetness but sometimes also brings sorrow and I can flow with that I do not need to escape my emotions you know they say that enlightenment is basically when you are in this free flow of your energy all the time but usually an average human is not in this free energy flow so we sometimes flow we are sometimes stuck Sometimes we are we feel that we have more energy. Sometimes we feel that we have less Sometimes we feel like we need to adjust and yes, we are adjusting basically all the time and we think this is <laughs> The way to live well actually the way to live is to be fully open like a house which has an open windows and constantly showing up for life So as we said the sweetness and the pleasure are our rights our it's just our rights, but their natural states of being. 
but then one might, uh, might ask how come that we feel pleasure in certain things like addictions human beings have tremendous capacity to survive the instinct for survival is so strong that our bodies find pleasure even in trauma even in pain and yes this is how addiction comes and underneath every addiction is a real need so for example you can detect you can detect your negative pleasure, let's call it like that, for the purposes of this video. You can find the negative pleasure in addictions, yes, because you tend to compensate the pain, which is not healed. We tend to look for pleasure in some of maybe perverse fantasies, sexual fantasies or addictions, which are actually not healthy and balanced for us. But this is how incredible we are this is how our bodies are incredible mechanisms that are helping us to stay in life even though it's painful but in order to surpass that we can feel how the energy is flowing through our body so in addictions the energy is not flowing even though we activate the pleasure centers we are not in the flow. We are basically frozen and stuck and we are trying and we are numb. And from that numbness, we are trying to feel something, anything. And this is where addictions come or negative pleasure, so to say. But this is not the real sweetness of life. The real sweetness of life is to understand that we are consciousness and to understand that we are here just as visitors. You know, nobody will stay here forever. We are here for only certain amount of time. So think of your, think of your journey on earth as a vacation. When you are, for example, on a vacation, you don't think about problems. You don't think about fixing things. You think about how can I really feel more of this experience? How can I really be present? How can I really enjoy nature? How can I really be present in relationships? How can I really be present in my body? How can I feel with my senses the nature around me, the beautiful sea, the waves, the smell of tropical flowers, or maybe see some culture, understand where, how is this culture created? What is the history behind it? Or whatever that is. And this is also what it means to be the observer. So in one way we are observing and as we observe, it's natural that we want to experience and feel life more as it comes. And yes, problems emerge, things happen. But if we allow and if we flow, if we don't over focus on that, if we don't panic around it, if we don't feel anxiety, if we just allow it to be some, somehow, usually things sort of just uh, resolve you know and uh, but of course if we have wound of anxiety it starts to build up and build up and build up that's why healing that's why understanding that when we feel anxiety when we feel fear by allowing that emotions to flow and not suppressing them is the way to heal them of course with the container of safety, with the container of our safe space that we create, that we build our, so to say, psychological muscles where we can hold ourselves in that feeling. But that's maybe for a different, different video. So I want to share one exercise with you today that you can do anytime and anywhere that can help your energy to flow more. Now, as we understand, it's, it sounds very actually easy. Yeah, you should allow your energy to flow. But of course, if we have never done that, if the energy is not flowing, it tends to, it tends to bring up some fears. It tends to bring up anxieties. We tend to feel resistance. We can't do it. We're afraid. Oh my God, what if I feel pain? What if I drown myself in pain? There are many different things. And yes, our surviving mechanism, as I explained earlier, will not allow us to go <laughs> into certain areas which could be dangerous. So we rather would stay in a safe, in a safe, unpleasant environment and learn how to feel pleasure and enjoy it. 
But if you are courageous enough, and if you are here, you probably are, then I would invite, invite you to join me in this exercise where you can allow your energy to flow more. Stand up and we're gonna stand in the grounding position. Our feet are parallel to the shoulders, knees are bent, our weight is on our heels, our pelvis is slightly tucked, our hands are parallel, relaxed, shoulders relaxed, our chin is parallel to the ground, and we're looking straight forward. And breathe deeply all the way to your belly and see if you can find relaxation and feel natural in this pose. Now you're going to take your fists and you are going to put your fists parallel to each other in your lower back and now with the chin still parallel we're going to bow. We're going to bow and breathe deeply. Ah, and as you exhale use your voice to allow the energy to flow if you feel resistance just breathe through it ah if your body starts shaking allow that ah ah and bow 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 ah just allow and allow your muscles to relax. You're contracting them probably. See if you can find the relaxation. And as you find relaxation, allow your body also to start shaking. Allow the spontaneous movement and breathe. Ah, feel your feet deeply rooted into the ground. Breathe and allow. Ah, allow the energy to flow. Ah, ah, breathe through resistance and allow. You feel a certain emotion, breathe through it. Ah, 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 ah. And now gently we're going to get out of this pose and just vertebrae, vertebrae, allow yourself to drop your arms, to drop all the way to the floor and your head and just drop as a rain. Allow the gravity to pull you down, down, down. And feel your feet still rooted as you drop and find stretch and relaxation. Allow your muscles to stretch. Ah. And allow your energy to flow. Ah. And imagine as if your body is opening up breath by breath. And vertebrae by vertebrae, come back up, 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 up. Ah, I come back into the grounding pose ah. and feel how the energy is flowing and give yourself a little bit of spontaneous movement to support this flow ah, and breathe and allow your body to gently start seeking pleasurable and sweet 
movements. Ah, and breathe. And see how far you can surrender to this flow. If you can't, that's okay. And allow this flow to expand further and further. <sighs> and gently allow your body to find stillness as you breathe and allow this movement and flow to expand in your field. Find a way to say thank you to yourself, to your body, and to your energy.